the 16 teams that left in are beginning to warm up for this uh, contest which should keep us all very warm I think it should do and both teams very uh, disciplined their managers are strong ones that uh, don't take any messing about and uh, I think it could be tight Bayern Munich's lineup Thibaut Courtois starts in goal Leonardo Bonucci starts with Costas Manolas at the back Williard starts looking to continue his great form in midfield and they've got plenty of goal threat with two strikers in the attack Augsburg this is their team I think that back four is really important for them. They've got to be strong and solid, but they've got a bit of protection, haven't they? They have. They should have more than enough. I mean, they're all good defenders in their own right, but uh, in front of them, they've got players who are going to be working really hard. Whether they could be a fit on the front foot, we'll wait and see. Well, there's quite an edge, isn't there, I think, to the rivalry between these two teams. I think we're going to see a match of real passion as well as skill. When William moved into English football from playing in Ukraine, he got himself back into the international setup. Played in the World Cup, of course, 2014. He's one of the best ball players in this league in world football, I'd go so far to say. The shot's up! Shot. Free kick only from the referee. Nothing more sinister than that. Got the ball back, the interceptor got it for them. Building steadily here, keeping possession. And shoots! Well, it's uh, a long way off target. In midfield, they've got it back via an interception. There's good progress with this attack. Comes in strongly. Philip Lahm. I think most people in the ground expect Bayern Munich to win this game. Given the ball away now. Signal given for Bayern Munich. It's their throw. Here's Berin. He's coming forward with some danger. Now to play for a throw. They tried to keep it, but they haven't been able to do that. Goiko Kacha. Got the tackle in. Well, this attack got a bit of menace to it. Oh, too early, offside. He goes a bit early, gets a bit too eager. Goal news involving Furt. It's a goal for Greuter Furt. 26 minutes played, 1-1. One, one. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McInally. Thanks, Alan. Jonathan Schmidt. Good challenge here. Throwing for Bayern Munich. Here's a chance to attack. Comes out with a punch to clear the danger. G. Good forward play from them. Good work by the goalkeeper. Just a flick on with the header. They've kept possession. Looking to play his teammate through. This with the chance. Well done, well back. It's another great contribution for his team. He's such a hard worker for the side. Go from Welbeck, and that's what you call unstoppable. Hit with power, hit into the bottom right corner. And that's a goal well worth analysing again. And that has opened the scoring. 1 0 here. G. 
The return ball. Keeping the ball to level it up now. Goalkeeper hangs on. I could have got through there, but the defender was absolutely on top of his game. Tried to tackle here, and he's done that for Bayern. They'll be waiting for the break, maybe to possibly make a change or two. Certainly to let the coach point out one or two of the things that they're finding difficult to deal with in this first half, but they have the lead. Well, here it is again, Welbeck's goal. Well, he's absolutely smashed that, hasn't he, into the bottom right. What a take. Bayer is coming forward with some danger. He went in well. Shots on here. Free kick given by the referee. And the defending team might be in trouble. They might regret conceding this. Oh, a great goal, Alan. Well, when a set-piece routine comes off like it does there, they'll be delighted. A goal of Olympic quality. It is uh, level. Both sides have scored here now. And two oohs around the uh, crowd for a three-minute add-on, which is what we're going to get for added time. Could be dangerous. <laughs> Hector Berry. Cross coming in now. Well back! That's fine work from the goalkeeper against an opponent who certainly troubled him today. Well, his teammates should be thanking him. A decent fist away by the keeper. Oh, it's into the net, and it's an own goal. Well, it is a goal, it is an own goal. I don't think there's much doubt about that, Alan. No, none at all. You're in those positions so often, and sometimes it just goes wrong. Bad enough to be behind now, but to do it with an own goal on the referee. Bayern Munich have some substitutes warming up in the Deutsche Pokal. 45 good minutes here, really, Alan, haven't they? We've enjoyed it. Second half, trying to get into the quarter-final. Good target for these two teams. Going to try one now. Oh, they lead by two now. Took the chance nicely, and that really has given them much more of a basis for the rest of this match. Three-one the scoreline. As we restart the game, Boyko Kacha. Jonathan Schmidt. G. Comes in strongly. Moving forward with some... And the goalkeeper will get this one, no problem. We'll have for you on EA Sports the upcoming Bundesliga fixture for the hosts. Augsburg's next game, Alan. What do you make of it? Well, they're playing Borussia Mönchengladbach in the next match. Martin in the Bundesliga, and uh, judging by the way that they've been playing, they're really evenly matched. G. Bayern Munich winning the ball back. Substitute coming up for the away team. It's a tactical substitution for the losing team here. Coup. 
crisp defending there. Goiko Kacha. Well, this attack has got a bit of menace to it. Got a one possession back with that tackle. Well, more news on the injury front from Jeff Shreves. Yes, the problem seems to be in that last challenge, he took a massive blow to his upper thigh. He's struggling at the moment, but hasn't asked to come off. Thanks, Jeff. Spot on. Bayern well back. Wonderful defending on the line, stopping the goal. Coup. Nice bit of interplay between these two. They've got the ball back by that interception. On the attack here. Good pass, getting it forward. Here's Renato Sanchez. Now William. Played down the wing, keeping the wide attack going. Makes a challenge here. Still 20 minutes to go. It's looking good, this move. Trying to find an opening. Not panicking. Usami. It's a very good interception. They've got the ball back. The interceptor got it for them. Good forward play from them. Well, they passed their way up into a good position here and then just lost the concentration, lost the ball as well. Now they've got to work hard to try and get it back. Danny Welbeck. Excellent interception. Tried to tackle here and he's done that. Good through pass. And that clearly is a goal kick. Can't argue with Bayern Munich with all their qualities. And the opposition haven't been able to pick a fight really with them in the best sense today. They've been second best and Bayern have been the better of the two teams. Attacking now. No chance. Hungry for more goals. It's 82 minutes played now. Renato Sanchez. Coup. Here's Renato Sanchez. Lars Unestal is the keeper today and he gets the ball from the back pass. believe what I'm seeing here what's come over the goalkeeper but he's backing his ability with the ball Bayern Munich with an advantage that they can uh, take on here now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch fourth official has indicated three more minutes corner Bayern Munich ref's gone back to deal with that earlier incident yellow card he's one of my favorite refs he doesn't miss much this lad It's a good save, he got a touch to that. And he's gone behind for Bayern's uh, benefit, it's the corner for them. And that's been judged by the officials as offside, looked clear enough. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition, now they're here. Got the ball now under control. And the final whistle confirming victory for Bayern. Deutsche Pokal. Bayern Munich 3. Augsburg won.
Schalke 4, St. Pauli 0. Reuter Firth 2, Hoffenheim 1. Bundesliga. Let's see what that means for the league tables. At the top of the table remain Bayer Leverkusen with 32 points. In second, climbing the table are Bayern Munich with 26 points. In third and falling are Hertha Berlin with 24 points. In fourth, moving down are Hoffenheim with 24 points. In fifth, Cologne with 23 points. In sixth, Borussia Dortmund with 23 points. In seventh, Wolfsburg with 23 points. Bottom of the table, Hamburg with 7 points. Third bottom, rising up the table, are Freiburg with 10 points. Fourth bottom, Ingolstadt with 10 points. Right, it is officially time for the transfer window. So I'm excited. And guys, what my plan is to do because on here, what I'm gonna do, I wanna play William at William at Cam and then buy Albamian, put him at right wing, and then buy Chain o Ox Ox Walcott and then Griezmann to replace Willux and then put Willux on the bench. Or buy Griezmann, buy Walcott, buy Ox and then Right, next episode it should be transformed though so okay so I'm just gonna simulate this
Cause level is so bad. I'm, I, I got trained for hazard because they're both so rated. And then I might. I'm gonna ch check in the prim, look in the prim, and see how many um clean sheets the hair has. And if he's got Bundesliga. loads, then I'm Cologne then I'm just two, like fire Leverkusen one, Borussia Dortmund two, Augsburg one. I'm done. Two, I'm going to do. I'm like, I'm, like, I'm going to do like 100 percent. On At the top of the table remain Bayer Leverkusen with 32. In second, the table are Bayern Munich with 29 points. In third, falling are Hertha Berlin with 28 points. In fourth, rising up the table are Cologne with 27 points. In fifth, moving down are Hoffenheim with 27 points. Okay. In sixth, this is climbing the table up. are Borussia Dortmund with 26 points. In seventh, Wolfsburg with 25 points. Bottom of the table, Hamburg with 10 points. And then reading up the table, second bottom, Freiburg with 11 points. Fifth bottom, Ingolstadt with 14 points. Oh, like he's n He's so young and he's like got such a...